Hello and welcome to Lazy Rants, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about the Atlanta Blood House. This is a mystery that took place back in the 1980s. And this is of a house that was seeping blood. This story takes place on September 8th of 1987. There was a woman by the name of Minnie Winston who was taking a shower in her Atlanta home. When she stepped out, she ended up seeing little blood droplets on the bathroom floor. At first, she thought it was just a rat or something that may have gotten injured. Well, Minnie looked around, and after not seeing anything, she went and she told her husband, a 79-year-old man named William. Things took a quick turn when he started realizing that there was blood seeping from the walls throughout the house, the flooring, underneath kitchen appliances, and even their TV. At this point, for a loss of what was happening, the Winstons decided to call the police. When police arrived, they weren't exactly sure what was happening. Investigators searched the residence, but didn't find any sign of any kind of animal. Investigating further just left them with more questions. The officers asked the Winstons, is there any chance that anybody could have broken into your guys' house? And Minnie and William both claimed that the door was locked and the alarm was set. Officers checked for possible break-in, but they didn't find any evidence. The crime scene investigator gave her account of the situation when she arrived on site. She says that when she first came in that all the eyes were on her, which was quite unusual as the detective usually didn't pay any attention to the crime scene investigator, but they were at a complete loss for what was going on. When she arrived, the detectives told her that they thought the substance was possibly red paint or rusty water, and they didn't see any source. There was no indication of leaky pipes or empty cans of paint. Police closed up the crime scene pretty quickly and stated that there was no crime committed and therefore no investigation was needed. Many also felt like it was most likely just rusty water although she was still completely baffled on how it ended up everywhere. They did end up taking some samples of blood from Minnie and William, and they also took samples of the substance from the house. Minnie and William both came back as blood type A. Now, the story gets a bit interesting when the results of the substance from the house came back. Well, it turns out the substance they found was indeed blood. Not only that, but it was human blood and type O. Now remember, Minnie and William both had blood type A, so it wasn't either of theirs. From this point, the story blew up. News reporters, paranormal investigators, they both flocked to the Winston residence, with one side trying to prove that it was a hoax, and the other side trying to reach out to Minnie and William as they thought that they could rid them of the entity that might be causing this. The Winstons didn't want anything to do with either of them. The police department never reopened the case, and it has been an unsolved mystery ever since. So, anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the Atlanta Blood House. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take it easy.